Yo, a lot of people out here are just faking and perpetrating and scared to keep reality. So let's just come on this thing and just, just put my two pence worth into what I'm feeling is going on. Which is bare madness, this coronavirus thing. I'm not saying it's not real. But what I'm saying is the effects of it. People are treating each other like lepers. People are just like scared to talk to each other. The, the economy is in tatters. For the past 10 years plus, we've been hearing, we've got to have a strong economy to pay for our NHS. How the heck are we going to have a strong economy if no one's working? If business people can't go to business, workers can't go to work? How can we pay for the NHS and the doctors to treat people? Is what I'm talking about. Plus the social impact. People are scared to talk to each other in the street. People, neighbours that have been isolating themselves three weeks each are still scared to go within touching distance of each other for catching summer, which they can't know because they've been in isolation for three weeks. It just doesn't make no sense. Plus on top of that, you go to the supermarket, you may to feel like you're in bloody Soviet Union 1988, queuing up for bread. What? Then you get in there, you're told you only can walk down certain aisles in a certain way which is just horrible. And then the whole wall's made a mockery of because the, the horizontal aisles, anything goes, left or right, up and down, you can do whatever. But only the, 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 the vertical aisles, you have to go in a certain way, which is just, it's just nonsense. Plus, if, if it is contagious, why haven't we got an outbreak of checkout staff or with it not being able to come into work? But they've been going in every day. The most, if it is contagious, I had a saying, then the most concentrated bits are the bits by the checkout or the entrance where everyone's expected to queue. So I'm just asking for people just to think about what's been going on because it seems like people just took out their brains, hanged it up on the mantelpiece and just replaced it with the BBC and ITV news and what the government says or whatever. So I'm not into conspiracies. I'm just saying just think about what you're being told. It's just like it doesn't make no sense. None. But no one to earn, no one to make no more, no money. Government saying they're giving eighty percent. Which part is eighty percent they're giving out to? What people need to understand is the CEOs of those businesses need to give up, put their personal liability for that money, and put the house on the line. A lot aren't going to do it. So this eighty percent, I can't see it happening. And if people do get it, it's going to devalue your money. So if you do have any money in your account, it's going to be worth worthless then the interest will, will go up so if you are you've got that that's going to be increased and it's just a massive like fucking shit storm just it's only going to get worse so it's not like i don't care about sick vulnerable elderly rate tear because more sick are gonna more old people are gonna die through ice through loneliness more young people are gonna die through suicide and self-isolation the sick people that are sick already aren't going to get the treatment. Any new people that are sick are just going to be told it's corona. So it's just like... People just need to think. That's what I'm saying. Just think about what you've been told. Just think about what you're seeing when you're walking up and down the street, when you're in the supermarket. Just think. Just think, does it make sense? Table Studio, I'm out.